I've included on the start of this video a bit of an image, and you can already see the five different types of strength. Although I'm going to tell you a secret and reveal at the end, I'm going to I'm going to claim there is a sixth, just as a joke. But I'll get there towards the end of the video. And what I'd like to do, probably quite boringly from your perspective, I want to go through these types of strength and make sure you understand what they are. And then we're going to do a little activity. How exciting! So static strength, first of all, what is this thing? Okay, we are talking here about static strength being force applied with no movement occurring. Force applied with no movement. And that's that's fairly obvious, right? So think about the initial shove of a rugby scrum. Think about um, isometric type contractions. Think about trying to lift the bar in weightlifting that just will not budge. That is static strength. Now, if we take this a bit further, we're going to have a look at max strength. These ones feel quite closely related, and I suppose they are, but we're going to go to max strength here. This is maximum force, so this is maximal force produced, maximal force in a single voluntary contraction. Okay, so very similar, very, very similar to our static strength. But of course, this could well be not isometric, but a concentric contraction, for example. That's why when we look at the rate of contraction over here, max is further up than static, yeah? So let's <laughs> do that yeah thing. Anyway, let's have a look at endurance. En strength endurance now, which is the next most, I guess, rapid form of strength contraction. What do we mean by endurance? Well, here we are talking about sustained or repeated contractions over time. Think about sustained repeated contractions. Think about an Olympic rower pulling the oar head against the water over and over again for, let's say, well, it'd be 2,000 meters, let's call it eight minutes. Sustained repeated contractions or force production. So, of course, this, by definition, has a greater rate of contraction than max because we're doing it more frequently, right? We're doing it over and over again. Let's take a bit further, look at our dynamic strength. With dynamic, very simple definition really here, and it incorporates two of the examples above and could be seen as a summary type. Dynamic strength is force applied with any kind of movement. So can you see for me, or can you agree with me, I suppose I should say, that both strength endurance and max strength typically are dynamic in their nature because they're including um, motion. So this and this would also be dynamic. And finally, we're gonna talk about elastic or explosive strength. And I think I'm back to my sort of uh, greeny color. So I'll call this one elastic strength. Elastic strength, very closely related to power. What we're talking about here is a fast speed, fast speed of, of elastic contraction. So think about this kind of sprint start. Think about jumping particularly high for a rebound in netball or basketball, for example. We sometimes call this a short series of contractions. So that could be the, the, the hop, the step and the jump of the triple jump, for example, very elastic in its nature. Now, can you now agree with me why this image is the way it is? We've got types of strength and rate of contraction. Static is of course a very low rate of contraction, non movement. Max tends to be quite slow because we're putting maximal single voluntary contraction. Endurance tends to be a bit quicker because it's repeated dynamic. We're sort of summarizing it there because it's with movement. So it's fairly movement based. And of course the explosive, the elastic, this is very, very fast contractions. So it's a high rate of contraction. But what if folks what if I was to select this let me uh, let me make sure I've got the right layer here. what if I was to select this what about if I was to copy it paste it drag this down here and what about if I was to say to you right I'm no longer interested I'm no longer interested in rate of contraction what about if I said to you force of contraction could you maybe pause the video and decide of our five different obviously we'll scrub these out these are no longer correct so of our five different types of contraction, which one would have the lowest force of contraction and which one would have the highest force of contraction? I'll give you a moment to do that and I'll assume you've paused your video and you've gone through that. So what would we expect to see? Well, first of all, the, the lowest force of contraction would be what we would call the endurance. Okay, so endurance would be the lowest form of contraction down here. We'd expect probably, we'd expect probably that we would have something like uh, the dynamic, if I put dynamic, not sure why I'm changing the colors here, that would be not particularly forceful, but of course it would incorporate some force. We would find probably that we would have the elastic somewhere in the middle, of course, because it's, it's fast, it's powerful, but of course it's including speed as well. We then might expect the static 
to be in this kind of position. And of course, by definition, we'd have the max up at that end. So it's a nice way to reflect on this. What about if I did the equivalent thing and I said to you, okay, what about the number of repeated contractions? Could you see, for example, that of course endurance would be at the high. In fact, I tell you what, let's actually do that. I wonder if I can do another one of those things. Let's actually do this for, let's actually do this for the number of repeated contractions. So if this wasn't rate of contraction, but this was how many contractions, and it would be down here few, and up here many, what would we expect this to be? Well, of course, the fewest contractions are gonna be our max and our static. So we'd have max here, okay, we'd have max down here, we'd have static in here, relatively few contractions, very maximal in their nature, of course. We'd have elastic again, somewhere maybe in here. Yes, we do get repeated contractions. We maybe have dynamic, you know, with movement happening over, over again. And of course, up here, we'd have our endurance now because of this is by definition a repeated notion. So when you think about strength, it's important to think about it in relation to what the promotion of the activity actually is. Does the activity rely on many contractions, high force of contraction? What about the rate of contraction? and which type of strength becomes um, valuable. Now, I did promise you a little Easter egg at the end, this dead daft, and if you wanna move on, feel free to pause the video now and get on with the rest of your day. But we've got here force of contraction. Of course, we're saying max strength is the highest. We, of course, know it isn't. And since becoming a father some years ago, I happen to know that of all the strengths, dad's strength is, is the ultimate. For opening a jar, for unscrewing a bolt, for um, for opening a frozen door, the dad strength is comes into its own and it is that layer above max. Now, obviously, for goodness sake, don't write that in your exam, but I just thought I'd share my experience of life. Cheers.